All right, good morning guys. This morning I'm here with uh, Bentley. He is the official uh, GNM mascot. Go give him a follow on Instagram at uh, bentyboy26. I don't think he's got uh, Facebook yet, just an Insta, but go shoot him a follow, I'll give you a follow back. Um, it's December 9th, I think, uh, about five in the morning, getting ready to go out and do some snow plowing. We've got an inch or two so far, so. Get the truck warmed up. We'll get it fired up, warmed up, and uh, I'll see you guys out plowing some snow somewhere. Sure. But these uh, these guys at home want to see some uh, some full plow action. I haven't gotten any yet. I've been uh, too busy. You better go somewhere else. Last couple of events. Uh, Go to the other side. Oh, goes back. The yeah. horseshoe. That's going to loop. <laughs> All right, guys. So we got the, the short iron pull pile on the back, and then what do we got on the front? A boss. And what do you like about the controller? I don't like anything about the controller. I don't either. Uh, there's one thing. The buttons are kind of big, but they're a pain because you go like this. You set it down to run this controller, and the front pile is constantly banging. They're sticking out. You breathe on them, and they and they move. And then you're close to something, and the plow turns. And if the controller's sitting like this. You'll go like that, you'll bump it, and the plow will turn. Yeah, it's just, uh, you, gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you constantly turn on and off. Yeah, you literally gotta shut it off or you're gonna bang it into something. So, uh, what have you like the pull plow so far? You've used it, it's the third event. You probably got, what, 50, 60 hours on it? Yeah, I don't know if I could plow, with a, plow without one. Right, let me, uh, <laughs> they're so nice. We got uh, the Wildflower Lodge here. Um, got a little horseshoe loop in the front. It'd be nice to have one controller that would run the front plow and the back plow. Oh, uh, short, Jason at Short Iron, uh, we need you to make a front plow so you can incorporate it all in one. So then you got one controller, you run your front and the back. Well, a switch to change them or something? Right, or even just a couple buttons for your front V or straight button, anything. Alright, let me hop out here. Right down the asphalt, can't beat it. That thing is quick. Oh. So this is the only this is the only time you ever use the front plow. Some time to push it up. Push it up and over. All right, guys. Tonight I am here with uh, Midwest Landscapes, the place I used to work. We got uh, our single cab with the short iron pull plow. And we have a cat 924G with a like 16 foot Arctic sectional pusher. Uh, the pull pile is going to start right here, and uh, front lower is going to start there. And on either side of the truck, and they're both going to see who can get the most, who can do each side, get it to the curve the fastest. All right, guys. So obviously, there's a lot of things to take into consideration here, like the amount of snow. This is only about inch and a half, two inches. But if you're familiar with northern Minnesota here at all. Um, we get a lot of inch, two, three, four inch storms. It's, we only get a couple storms over six inches a year. Um, so with Jameson going loops like this and the front end loaders going forward and back, the truck was about twice as fast. Now, no, the truck isn't going to stack it 20 feet high, but if on a site like this where you have four front end loaders and seven skid loaders, you can easily minus out a front end loader and just run it all to the curb with the pull plow and have one front end loader going and just pushing it up. This truck right here, I paid 20 grand for the truck and tra truck and uh, plow about two years ago and then the, put the pull plow. So I totally got about 30 grand into the setup right here, this truck and both plows. That front end loader, the, the, the pusher alone was 12, 13 grand. And you know, I'm not sure what that front end loader is new. They're 150-ish, you can get them for 60, 70. 
So obviously the truck is quite a bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, de most definitely on a site like this, if you can eliminate, if there's four front end loaders on the site, with this truck, you could easily eliminate one. You know, even right there is a pretty big savings. And then we do a lot of residential too. And this this setup right here, um, like on townhomes, will will easily do the work of two skids and or two trucks. So I can All right, guys, so now we're putting it up against a Bobcat, I think it's the S595. It has a 96 inch Vernig snow bucket on it. And it has a veteran operator in it. The guy's been running the skid for longer than I've been alive. So that's probably because operators are gonna get. We're gonna start pulling out these, uh, we're gonna start here at 20. And one guy work that way, one guy work this way, and see what happens. All right, here we go. So just right there alone, that's 16 feet, and this is eight. All right, a couple things to take into consideration here. Like I said, got a veteran skid operator <clears throat> running that 595, and uh, Jameson here in the pull plow. We just got this plow. It's the first year. He's only plowed, like I said earlier, around like probably a total 50 hours in it. So still kind of getting the hang of it. Uh, a big advantage to this skid is visibility. You can see how close you can get up there to uh, to the building. Where at the pull plow, your visibility is a little less. Like as you can see here, he's not able to get as close. I think uh, with a little more time in there, you'd be able to kind of get the feel for it better and be able to get closer. But the pull plow definitely does as good of a job, uh, like scrape wise, as the skid in the bucket. Um, and then also you can see where he's pulling it out here into the main lane. Um, you know, then you can run it all to the end with the truck, you know, so much faster than the skid. But back dragging wise, they were, it was on this comparison here, it was pretty, uh, pretty comparable. So these guys, uh, they run a pretty big operation on this site alone. On this site alone, they run uh, seven skids, four front end loaders, a couple trucks. Um, they have, they rent uh, several of these Komatsu, this one's a WA 270. Um, and, uh, but the main thing is like when you pull it out, then this long way, a skid, or uh, that pull plow can run it all the long way where, where, we it, where it would take uh, forever to do that with a skid in a bucket. So we kind of figured uh, on this site alone with seven skids, four friend loaders, couple trucks, this would at least eliminate one friend loader and possibly a skid loader. 
depending on uh, who you had running the truck and the plow. But uh, yeah, and for little residentials and stuff too, it's I would say in most places does the work of a minimum of two trucks up to three. Got these new uh, Toyo AT2 uh, rhythm skins tires. <laughs> And uh, what do you think of them so far? The only way to go. They don't. Even, they don't even compare to Dyna Pros. They're. Uh, they're, uh, they're, they're awesome. We can go anywhere I want. They got pretty good. Uh, pretty good gapage. I don't know. They're, they're pretty quiet cruising down the road. Nah, uh, they're. I don't know. They're a little bit loud. Louder than like a Dyna Pro. But, but they. But they grip really good. You know, they stuck. grip super good. Right. Pawing and two wheel drive with these is like pawing with four wheel drive with Dyna Pros. No way. That's serious. It was really right. Give these guys some full power action. It is deep snow, at least it's, uh, at least it's pretty fluffy, uh, uh, super heavy. Just for the record too, when it's cold out, my camera takes forever to focus. It doesn't like focusing as much. It's right there. Right, guys here's an example of what not to do with the pull plow if you have a ton of snow behind you heading towards the pile you got to slowly start lifting up before you get to the pile otherwise there'll be so much snow under the truck it'll lift you up and then you'll uh, be stuck and need a pull what <laughs> exactly what <laughs> alright guys thanks so much for uh, sticking to the end of this one thanks for uh, watching thanks for your support uh, let me know what you think of this plow. I think if you want to change your plowing game, everyone has pickup trucks. Uh, you need one of these. This is will take you to the next level. And if you do get one, uh, make sure to tell Jason at Short Iron you saw it from me. All right, thanks for watching. See you soon.